Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, where patrons get access to a patron-only Discord, ad-free videos, and the joy of knowing they help support this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Independence. I'm Mike and uh, it's morning. I'm about to film or I'm about to do a live stream, but I thought, you know, I need to I need to unbox this stuff or at least do my haul video for it. Uh, this is a this is a haul from uh, you guessed it, it's from Atlas. Uh, I ordered uh, I ordered a bunch of stuff because there were a couple of things I really wanted and one thing I was like, you know, what, I'm just going to get it. So uh, this is a little bit of an expensive haul, but I think it's worth it. So let's look in here. Um, firstly, I blacked this out with one of these cool like uh, these cool things, which is like these little, you know, roller thing that you use to black out addresses. And then I got my arm in it and I did that live on a stream on a Friday. Uh, it is now Tuesday and it is still there. This stuff is permanent as heck. It won't come off. I've taken several showers and everything just won't come off. So, uh, fun. That's permanent as heck. All right. Uh, we have here, uh, we're not pulling your, we're not pulling your shanks. We just wanted to, wanted to say thanks. We figure that th uh, Shanks is legs, so <laughs> that took a little bit of that took a little bit of figuring, but uh, thanks Brian M. Good last initial for sure. All right, so um, this box has a lot of stuff in it as you can see. Um, but uh, you know, it's some stuff I wanted to try out. So let's get in here. All right, we'll start with some small stuff. Uh, this right here is a uh, is some buffalo plaid washi tape. This is four ninety five. Uh, it's from Pip Sticks, which uh, does a lot of sticker stuff and uh, has done a lot of washi tape. I guess it started showing up in some stationery stores, and I'm down with that. So that's cool. I just kind of saw this. I'm like, you know, winter is coming, and this feels very cozy to me. So I'm gonna get it. I also got some washi tape here that is uh, party time. Let me see if I can. Here it is. Huh. So I'm not sure what exactly happened here. This might have been this might have been a mistake on on Atlas's part. I don't know. I might need to tell him or something. But I was only expecting one washi tape here, and I ended up with three. And I'm not really sure how that happened. This is the party time washi. They may have just sent the wrong thing. I was just supposed to get one roll, and it was $4.95. I think they might have given me too many. So uh, I need to I need to talk to him about that. But um, this is the one I was expecting, which is this like real fun like party time. I don't know, leopard print almost kind of situation. I guess it's not terribly sticky, but it is washy, so I'm not that surprised, but it's a really fun color. So uh, I was like, this seems like it'd be really good for those times you need to party in your journal or on, a, on an envelope or whatever. And then these two I wasn't expecting. Um, so this one is like some, I don't know, some 60s like flower situation, which is pretty cool. And then uh, this one's just like all kinds of I don't know, disco stuff. I don't know, I guess some disco lips. I'm not sure why the lips are there. That's kind of weird. Uh, we've got uh, records and and disco balls and roller skates and, and things of that nature, records and things. It's a really cool little set, but it wasn't what I was expecting. Let me see if there is actually one that's a triple pack that they... Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of these. Wow, Pipstix has a whole lot of washi tape. I didn't actually realize how much washi tape Pipstix has. There are 50 of them on this list, so I may not find the the thing. Huh. All right, so there isn't a listing for a triple pack of these um of these party times. So, I don't know, weird. I'm not sure what happened there, but, you know, I expected one and got three rolls. I'm not going to complain about that. So, put that over there. Uh, and then here is this uh, is this pen. So these are from uh, obviously here. Uh, these are from uh, this is from Ferris wheel press and it's called oinking embers, which um, I thought was really fun. This is the carousel fountain pen called oinking embers down there. And I kind of bought it for the name because it sounds just real fun. Um, and I think like. The, the description here says, uh, the carousel is a joyous writing instrument, et cetera, et cetera. And it says, presented in an earthy brown, oinking embers, this small uh, small batch run is available only while quantities last. Each carousel ink, uh, pin comes equipped with its own ink converter, ready to be filled, etc. And there's like notable design details. To ensure the pig's plan goes out without a hitch, they've brought along all the tools they could possibly need. Can you spot them all? Um, and then hurry down the chimney, scurry along town mouse, go home. You won't want to be caught out there later. Like it's got some weird design details, things that are on that list. Um, and I kind of expect them to be on the pen, but I don't know if they're gonna, I think that's our mouse there and there's our pigs. And I don't know if we're going to have anything on this pen. I guess we'll see if I can get into it. Come here. Really? This is open. There we go. This side's open. 
All right, so you have a little thumb notch here. Okay, that's kind of convenient. Uh, and that pulls out <laughs> interesting, interesting packaging for this little pen. This little pen. These are like fifteen bucks, so not terribly expensive, but not like the cheapest thing either. It feels really lightweight. Like this is a very light pen. Interesting little back there. That reminds me of like, um, uh, like like pigma markers or something like that. I don't know. It feels like that to me. This interesting little top up here, like the top of a carousel, perhaps. And it says Ferris wheel press in silver and the carousel. Uh, you can see my thumbnails all torn up from opening boxes or something. Uh, and then opening up. Yeah, there's no pigs on here. I was expecting pigs. Where's my, where are the pigs at? So it's just kind of a, it's kind of a brown stick pen. Uh, we have on here, we have a carousel horse. I was kind of expecting maybe a pig there. I don't know. There's no, there's nothing, there's no pigs on the pen. The, the, the box has got all the, all the art on it. Katie. My cat is sitting in front of me and I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's my excuse. Uh, so we do have a little we have a little converter here. And we stick uh, do we stick on there. Uh. Huh. All right, you got to go. Everybody say bye to Katie. OK, I guess it's on now. Okay, we're on now. That was weird. I couldn't, it didn't have any, anything there. And then oh, I pushed it in just right and it, it settled. So that's good. We have a little, uh, a little agitator bead in there. Uh, let's see how this kind of feels in some paper. I haven't inked this up yet, obviously. Uh, but it might be a good candidate for something like uh, Oyster Hour or one of those kinds of things. Uh, it feels like it's going to be smooth enough. I think this feels okay. So... So that's good. I don't know. I'm not super impressed with this pen so far. And the reviews on it, to be fair, uh, that I've seen on the carousels are real bad. But I was like, I don't know. Let's give it a try. It's It just feels super lightweight. Like, it feels... It doesn't have, like, the feeling of quality to me. I don't know exactly why. Cat's trying to eat the dog food now. She is being a terror today. Um, yeah, I don't... Kind of... Kind of posts. But not... But not... Not really. Yeah, this is... I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but I immediately my immediate thought is I don't know if I can recommend this pen. So this one, I don't know, maybe take a flyer on if you need to hit like free shipping levels. But um, there's better stuff out there, I think, for 15 bucks. I, I don't know. I, I'm, on the, I'm on the fence. I'd rather get like a Schaefer VFM or something like that or one of the cheaper Parkers or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes after I put some ink in it. All right, let's look at some other stuff. Take a look at this before I get into some pens that are uh, on the other end of the scale from this one. Um, I got two pens. I got two pens coming up, y'all. This is a little bag from Clyde Luggage, and I was interested in what this was like. This is something that um, they sold out of. It's called the Clyde Separate Tool Tote, or Separate Tool Tote? Separate, I think. And it just seems like it might be a cool little tote bag for, you know, pens and inks and papers and stuff like that. So I went ahead and got one. It was $23. It's not like the cheapest little tote. Can I get it on screen? There we go. Um... All that is in all that is in Japanese, essentially. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, I could translate it later. Here we go. Uh, tote, recycled fabric, separate tool tote designed by Clyde Japan. 100% recycled fabric of cotton and polyester. Fun. I like the look of this. I thought this kind of like denim-y sort of thing was neat. And I like the recycled nature of it. I think that's cool. It's got these little handles. So a little tote bag. That's cool. Uh, on the inside, you have uh, a pocket over here. And then you have this kind of like slip pocket over here, which is kind of like, I don't know, phone size situation like that, uh, which is pretty good. And then uh, you have like two sections, one on each side. So you can put like this feels like a smaller section. This is really interesting the way this is laid out. So so this divider is is in here diagonal style. So if you want to put something big over here, you can and just like have something maybe skinny over here, like an A5 notebook. Let me grab something. Uh, it's just like a little A5 one from paper, well, A5-ish anyway, from Paper Republic. It's a little smaller than A5, but yeah, that fits in there perfectly. No problems at all. Um, so that's cool. This is A5, A5 height, but not A5 width is the deal with these. So um, that'll be fine. That's cool. So you can put that in there and then you can put like some stuff over here and then like have a bigger section here. Instead of it going straight across, it goes diagonal, which I think is interesting. So you could put more stuff here and less over there. There is dimension to it. So that's that's an interesting bag. I think it might be good for, like, I would probably take this to Pelican Hub, because, hey, why not, right? You put a big old pin case over here. Let me grab a pin case. All right, so this one's a real A5 here. 
um, a little Midori, uh, Midori cotton notebook. We'll stick this in there. Uh, and then this is a Galen leather um, pin case. Fits in there perfectly. You could throw another more vertical pin case in here, like say this Franklin Kristoff one that I was just using yesterday. Uh, you can throw a lot of stuff in this bag, actually. It'll hold. It'll hold a fair amount. Go in there, too. Yeah, and then you can put some other stuff over here. You can probably put a drink bottle over here. Do I have a drink bottle? Kind of. Here's my coffee mug. Perfect. All right. Well, that's cool. So, yeah, I can put in uh, this 10-pin case from Galen. Uh, Galen Leather. It's the one with, like, little magnets on the back. So these, like, little p panels come out, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, there we go. It's harder to close when it's empty. Uh, so you can put that in there. Chuck my phone in this side here. And uh, yeah, away I go. That's actually pretty nice. I like that it fits my coffee mug. This Carter Fellow is a really good mug. And it fits in there perfectly. Just thunk, drops right in there. So that's neat. Um, yeah, perfect little stationary bag. Uh, that's cool. That's going to be good for a uh, pen club and that kind of stuff. You don't want to take a whole ton of things, but you do want to have like some of your stuff with you. Really neat. Cool, Clyde. All right, the time has come. So... Um, let's save this one, uh, let's save this one aside for a moment, because this one is, has a narwhal on it, and it's one that I've really been interested in seeing, so, um, let's see what this one looks like, because I kind of know what this is going to be, and so, uh, I'm psyched about that. Um, let's, uh, let's get in, let's get in here. Oh, oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> I threw stickers in my cart because they just got restocked on Midori stickers. Uh, in fact, a lot of their Japanese stickers just got restocked. Um, these were, let me look at my invoice over here, uh, four bucks a piece for these little sticker sheets, which is not the cheapest sticker sheets ever, but these are really cute little stickers and they're great for, as they have down here, like, uh, like planners and that sort of thing. They just fit really nicely in little planner squares. And so I use these in my five-year journal. I use them in my planner. They have like little moods and stuff on here for cats and things um honestly like this one has me like a little messed up right now because we just lost our cat mr nose who looks a lot like that uh but you know whatever i'll be fine um uh, but you know things like that just kind of make me happy to put in the, in the planner and in my journals and things like that and these are just cute little stickers and they're all very fun so i was like yeah you know what i'm gonna get them so i did that all right, let's get in this diplomat. Y'all know I love a diplomat on this channel. It's been a little while since I got one. Uh, and also the Viper is coming soon. So I'm going to get one of those. But um, this one is not a Viper. This is up, up, the, up the line from the Viper for sure. This is another one of the Arrow series. And I love the Arrows. Uh, and this is one that I saw originally... We got our stuff underneath there. We got a couple of, uh, a couple of cartridges. Diplomat guarantee. That's cool. Throw that over there. Um, this is one that I saw originally at uh, the Baltimore Pin Show last year. It was kind of a secret then, uh, but the president of Diplomat was there, and he was uh, like, hey, you like arrows? Look at this. This one right here is just too good looking to not have for me. This is the Brass Stripes, which is a uh, forced patina brass pen. It is heavy as all heck. Like this don't get this if you don't like a heavy pen, because boy, howdy is this heavy. It's actually a bit heavier than the Flame, um, which I, which is steel. So this one's a little bit heavier. But um, this one has, uh, actually, it says on the side, it says full aluminum casing, but it's not. This one is solid brass, uh, but it is forced patina. So they take a brass pen, uh, a brass body, and they put all the arrow grooves and that sort of thing in it, and then they force the patina, and then once they get to the, the patina to exactly the place they want, they lacquer over it. So this isn't going to keep changing. It's going to stay where it is, which is pretty nice. Uh, a lot of folks are a little bit on the fence about, like, you know, patina and how their pen will change over time. I actually really like when my pen changes over time, and I almost never... Uh, I almost never polish them. Like, like this one right here is also bronze, and uh, this one is... Um, this one's brass. Um, so, or no, this one's copper actually, uh, which hasn't changed a whole lot. It's gotten a little dingy, but it's still coppery color, but this one is bronze itself. So if you keep going with bronze, it turns essentially like kind of black, but, uh, this one is going to stop where it is. I really like that. Also the, the diplomat cap is a great slip cap. So good. Beautiful clip here. Uh, it just kind of fits right in with all the patina and that sort of thing. Got the little flower at the top. Uh, we have the uh, the Diplomat nib. This one is a broad that I got here. And then it does come with a converter, I'm sure. Yeah, there's a Diplomat converter in there. So I really like the arrow, and I don't mind a heavy pen. I handed this, I handed one of these to Audrey, and she's like, oh, no, that's too heavy. Uh, but for me, this is really good. In fact, the way that this feels, it feels like it's just jamming the pen, like, at the paper. Like, you see, you're just kind of, like, guiding the pen. You're not, you don't want to lift it and go like this, but uh, like this, totally fine. So if you post it. 
Oh, that's that is a boat anchor. If you post it, don't do that. <laughs> but if you, I mean, you can post it. But it makes it real heavy because this is also brass. So, yeah, really cool pen. Uh, I dig it. Really beautiful. These are not cheap, unfortunately. This one uh, was two hundred thirty-six dollars is their street price. Uh, the manufacturer's suggested retail is two ninety-five, but. Um, for 236, I was like, fine, fine, I'm gonna do it. I've got some space bucks. I'm gonna use my space bucks. So thanks very much to those of you who use the ink dependence code uh, for the, you know affiliate uh, money over there. It gives you 10% off of your purchases, and it throws a little bit back my way in turn in the, in the form of store credit, which I can use to get beautiful things like this that I will love and can show you inks in and all that jazz um, without feeling like it's um, you know too too burdensome so thank you for helping me out with that uh, and thanks to atlas for having that program all right now let's look at this one because this is a real weirdo this is brand new this is the new uh narwhal eclipse iridium so the eclipse is a uh is a click pen it's the first uh, sort of retractable fountain pen that narwhal has done uh and it's gotten some like mixed reviews and that sort of thing online i really wanted to get it in my hands because i think it looks really neat and i want to encourage them to keep iterating on this thing even if this one's not perfect so i have here scan code for manual and instructions i don't know scan that code for manual if you want to uh, i'm not gonna um all right, so this is the uh, the eclipse, and I full disclosure, I have opened this already, and it's actually full. It's actually got ink in it, so we'll see if it writes after a few days. Um, but I wanted to, you know, put it back for the haul video. So the way this actuates, and you have this fairly large pen. Um, it is, I mean, it's pretty big. It's it's not small. I think it's smaller than the Curados, but I don't have one of those handy. I think it's definitely bigger than the um, than the Vanishing Point, which I also just got. So yeah, it's bigger than a vanishing point. It makes a vanishing point look smallish. And this is a thick, a thick pen. It's longer too. It's just a, it's a big old pen there. Um, so the way you work it is you click it this way. The two halves kind of slide together like this, which is pretty neat. And then it has a nib here, which looks an awful lot like a vanishing point nib. Um, I will say, and I'll do a full review on this later on after I've got some use on it, but I did try switching the internals of a vanishing point into this pen and it doesn't work even a little bit. Um, so don't, don't, th don't think you can, cause it doesn't work that way. I, I don't know why exactly, but it doesn't like, it'll poke out and it fits in there, but it won't actuate. There's something that's very different and I don't know exactly what it is yet, but it won't work. Um, so let's see if this writes, whoops, because it's been sitting here for a few days. Uh, uh, it's kind of dried out on me. All right, so it might not have the best cap seal. Not nothing, but it's not doing amazingly. Let's give it a little bit of um, let's give it a little bit, of, a little touch of water on the old nib there, and see if that'll get us going. This one goes for ninety nine dollars, so it's not like the most expensive pen in the world, but it's also not terribly cheap. Like it ain't free. Um, all right, I think there we go. I think that's probably good. Yeah, yeah. Now we're in business. And it writes just fine now. Um, this is the medium, and it writes kind of like a fine nib. I, I feel like uh, it's got fine. It's giving me fine nib vibes. Let's just make sure I got all the water off that. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, I don't want to put water inside here. I don't know what the materials are inside, but yeah, it's uh, it, it did dry up on me after a few days. It's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So like it's been like five days. So like all right, that's not unreasonable. I don't know how long it'll um, stay wet. We'll see how it goes. Um, Full review will have that. To open it, you turn this cap back here and it unscrews something on the inside. And you can feel the two halves kind of coming apart. There we go, as you unscrew it. Um, so there's that, which is interesting. It's unscrewing like from here down to these little threads down there. And then you can pull the uh, the nib unit and the, the converter and all that out. Um, so yeah, it looks a lot like a vanishing point nib unit. Uh, but it is it is different and the parts don't fit back and forth so uh, like this doesn't fit on a in a vanishing point nib unit at, at all like and the vanishing point uh, the pilot uh, refill or um, converters don't fit in here so and, and the whole thing doesn't work together if you try to do it so like it's not it's not a dupe although it does have a lot of the same design language I guess why reinvent the wheel but um, I am glad that the parts don't work together even though it would be nice to put a vanishing point nib in here because those nibs are very good. Um, but I'm kind of glad that keeps it from being, you know, more copycatty in my eyes. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is an interesting pen. And I think, and I like the idea a lot. I think this is good. Now, one caveat is this. My wife cannot use this one-handed. Um, her hands are not big enough to, to one-hand click this thing. 
Uh, mine are with no problem, but I got I got big old hands, so this isn't really a problem for me. For me, it's a one hand click still, and I like where the clip is. But if you don't like the clip on the uh, the regular vanishing point, and you have smaller hands, um, this is going to be a, a two handed operation. I still think it's pretty cool. I like the way that they've done this. I think it's neat, um, but it's not a not one handed click if you have smallish hands. But for me, no problem at all. Are you gonna keep writing? Still good. We're still good, Nib. Yeah, Nib is still fine now. So. Um, yeah, I can actually, I can do it like this, but it is gonna, it does like threaten to pinch your fingers down here if you have your fingers in those grooves. It won't go all the way down, which is nice. Um, and the metal bits are a little bit, they're a little bit rough, like not rough exactly, but you can feel like they're not chamfered on the insides here. So you can feel it's like a little bit sharp feeling. It's not going to cut me, I don't think, but, um, it is, it is have like a very machiney sort of like raw feel to it, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of interesting. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one so far, but I do I do like a lot of what they got going on here. Um, so I don't know. We'll put it through the we'll put it through its paces and we'll do a review eventually. But there you go. That's a narwhal eclipse. We have our awesome uh, bronze here. Uh, the brat or rather the brass stripes. I don't know. I said bronze earlier, probably because of this pen. But this is the brass stripes. Uh, then we have uh, this one, which is a little bit on the disappointing side. I think this fair feel pens carousel oink whatever uh and then some really great uh, really great washi tape so um this is a really uh this is a more expensive haul than i usually do but i was like you know what these keep going out of stock uh this one i need for youtube purposes for sure and this one like i don't know let's just see what's going on here because it's not very expensive um i'm not impressed with that but these two i'm pretty impressed with this one very impressed this one medium so we'll see we'll see how it goes you never know exactly what you're going to get sometimes and uh that's part of the fun of this so thank you very much uh to my patrons and also to those of you who use the code ink dependence at checkout with atlas uh for some affiliate money and also some uh you know uh, cash towards or a uh, discount for you so you know use that and uh let them know that you saw stuff here and that you like that and uh until uh until another video um, pff, think about what you put out in the world and make it a better place. Uh, that's it. Peace out.